Hi, this is Tracy HD, and I want to thank you for joining me today for our November 2016 tarot reading. And this will be for the sign of Capricorn. As I shuffle the deck, I'm asking all light beings, angels, and God, please relay the message I need to share with my viewers for the highest good of all. Beginning of the month, we'll take a card from the top. Middle of the month, we're going to take a card from the center. And the end of the month, we'll take a card from the bottom. Okay, very interesting month we have here, Capricorn. Well, we start out with the Ace of Pentacles, okay? And it's a beautiful yellow color to it. It's just so bright and cheerful. The yellow on this card really stands out. And the Pentacle suit is your health, your wealth, your finances. The Pentacles are things that are hard work, hard earned, but they're very long lasting and well worth the time and effort. So it looks like here there's a beginning of the month is going to be very happy and you're going to feel very secure in the beginning of November. You're going to feel good health. So maybe your health hasn't been that good and it's taken a turn for the better here. You're going to feel, you know, more prosperous. You might even be starting a, a new friendship that's going to end up being a lasting friendship. Some people, you know, enter our lives for a short period of time. Some last a lifetime. So maybe if you're making friends with someone, beginning of November, forming a relationship, it's going to have a long-lasting effect on your life. And, you know, again, maybe it's health. Maybe you've been suffering a, a lot lately, and, and maybe you've finally gotten your health under control, and you're feeling more strong and vibrant, and feeling more vitality. Um, or it could even be the beginning of a business adventure, too. If there's any entrepreneurs out there that are thinking of, you know, maybe beginning a business, starting something new in the beginning of November. This is the green light for that, too. Because this has to do, like I said, with your health, your wealth, your finances, long-lasting, prosperous things. And then in the middle of the month, you feel the need to leave something behind. We have the Eight of Cups. Cups are emotional. Okay, she's walking away. These cups are behind her, which to me is like she's leaving behind a an emotional situation, maybe something that has been so draining. It could be leaving a job that's just not emotionally satisfying. It could be re leaving a relationship, a love relationship, maybe a friendship. But whatever it is, you just know that it's time for you to move on. It's time to go. Okay, there's nothing else that you can do at this point in the middle of the month except move forward and put the past behind you. Okay, so you're leaving the past behind on something. Maybe this is a way of thinking. Okay, maybe you're, you're tired of thinking negatively and you're, you're tired of having, you know, a pessimistic mind frame and you realize that, you know what, I'm not going to be like that anymore. I'm moving on with my thoughts, my feelings. I'm, I'm going to do something to bring something about but staying in the past and staying in a, an unhealthy situation or something that's unfulfilling is not going to gain the emotional you know stability that you want so we're moving on in the middle of the month and then we have the last card which is the horned one which is the devil card in the traditional tarot and the devil card is asking you to see what in your life is out of balance okay are we overspending? Okay, are we doing retail therapy where we're feeling sad or depressed so we go out and we buy ourselves, you know, something nice, you know, maybe a pair of shoes, maybe a new shirt. Um, but it's only going to get us into a temporary happiness. It's going to end up getting us into debt when we do it excessively. There's something excessive in your life at the end of the month that you have to take a look at. Is it maybe overeating? You know, sometimes people eat when they're emotional because, it, you know, kind of calms them it, it you know comfort food is is a wonderful thing but are we doing something excessively like the eating that maybe is going to lead to us putting on extra pounds and yeah it's that time at the end of November I mean the holidays were you know eating more than we normally would Thanksgiving here in the US you know we indulge it's all about food that holiday um, or is it something else maybe are we consuming too much alcohol or are we taking, you know, substances like, you know, drugs or, you know, something that's not good for us? Or is it a person maybe in your life? Maybe this person has, you know, more control over you than they should. Maybe they're abusing their power and, uh, you know, bossing you around or something. 
You know, it's something that's controlling you that's not for your highest good. Let's put it that way. This is not something that you want in your life. Okay. And allowing another person, okay, or thing to have power over you is not a good thing. Nothing should control us. We should always try to live our life in balance. And I know it's easier said than done. We all go through those phases of overspending and overeating and over drinking. But examine at the end of the month what in your life needs balance. Something's out of balance. Something maybe an addiction, like they said, is holding you in bondage. Uh, so you got to think about that at the end of November and try to get that in balance before it gets out of control. If you've enjoyed this reading, please subscribe to my channel because I will be back.